I'm a Minecraft script developer and server owner with over two and a half years of experience, with my biggest server bringing in over $1,000 in profit. Today, I'm going to be discussing a few reasons why many servers that say they're unique or creative on Minehunt ultimately fail in the long run. For starters, your server won't retain players if you don't explain the gameplay clearly or effectively. Even if your server is fun, how can players enjoy it if they don't have any idea what to do? This is a mistake that I've seen countless servers make. Much like a YouTube video, a Minecraft server has about 5 seconds to make an impression before a player decides if your server is worth playing. Notice how in this video, I didn't give you a drawn out introduction that you didn't want to listen to anyway. I cut right to the chase. I told you I'm an experienced script developer who has owned many successful servers, and then I got right into why you clicked on this video. This same logic, albeit with a little tweaking, applies exactly the same for a Minecraft server. If a new player logs on and they don't immediately have a clear sense of direction or what the objective is, they're gonna log off. When it comes to server owners failing to give direction, I see two extremes of this all the time. There are the servers that have essays in the spawn region and shove endless streams of text down new players' throats, and there are servers that don't explain anything at all. Both scenarios are equally as bad. This point ties into my next reason rather well. These quote-unquote unique servers fail because there's overall a lack of organization. This idea splits into two parts. There's the visual side of things and how easy on the eyes a server is, as well as the structure of the gameplay itself. For the visual side, things need to be appealing to the eye. Pick a color scheme for your server, something that makes sense, and stick with it. Don't use all the colors of the rainbow for your scoreboard or for your holograms, and don't include more information than you have to. It's going to make things overwhelming if you do. I'll come back to this idea a little later on, but the key idea to take away from this is that sometimes less is more. This applies the same to the organization of the content of your server. When making your server, you need to be constantly thinking about how someone else would feel playing the server for the first time and knowing nothing. Even if something as simple as not putting a starter mind in clear view of the player when they spawn in can make them feel confused and not know what to do. Something else I see relating to this idea is that when a server does have a lot of content, they make the fatal mistake of introducing it all to a new player at the very beginning. Don't get me wrong, having a lot of content on your server is generally a good thing. You'll want to be able to have enough to keep your longtime players coming back. But if you show off all this content at the very start, it can make things feel swamped. When adding middle to late game content, a new player should have little to no idea that the content even exists when they first log in. Generally speaking, what you need to do is stretch out the timeline, and have it be that as a player progresses, more content becomes visible and is available to them. Think of it as a scope, and your new player is in the center. Initially, the player only has a little bit of room that they see around them and that they get access, but as a player continues to play the game, the scope widens, and more things become visible to them. At that point, they should already be familiar with the core mechanics of your server, so they see the new things that come into view as a challenge to tackle. But, if the scope was wide from the very beginning, then a player will see everything at once, have no idea where to begin, probably get flustered, and leave without a second to spare. A general rule of thumb that ties these last few reasons together is overall, your server needs to be intuitive. Your mechanics need to make sense, if that makes sense, and be able to be explained in a way that is easy to understand. Players don't want to have to think when they're playing Minecraft. They do that enough at school, work, or whatever life obligations they have. If they need to read an entire wiki page to figure out what their first step should be, most likely you need to make some changes. Explain the mechanics or objective of your game, but do it in the simplest way possible, as if you were explaining your server to a toddler. Make things straightforward and easy to pick up, so that players don't have to spend time reading information, and they spend more time actually playing the game. My final, and probably the most important reason as to why I believe that creative servers fail is something that brings everything I just talked about together in a single point. The server owner doesn't put themselves in the shoes of the new player base when designing the server. What do I mean by this? Well, look at the big picture. What are the reasons that you leave a server in the first few seconds? Is there not a sufficient tutorial? Are the holograms at spawn hard to read? Are the GUI menus scattered so it isn't easy to find what you're looking for? Whatever it is, answer those questions and keep those reasons in mind, since you're going to want to make sure that you don't repeat those same mistakes on your server. 
not only will you as a creator like your server better, but chances are the reason that would make you leave a server in the first 3 seconds are the same reason some random who join your server for the first time would also leave. You want to make sure that you fix those mistakes to boost your player retention. I mentioned it before and I'll say it again because it's so important. You need to put yourself in your player base's shoes. See things the way that they see them, not just how you see them. Everyone and their grandma will think that their unique idea that they came up with is the greatest thing in the world, but is your idea really the greatest in the world if other people aren't receptive to it? As soon as you as a server owner take a step back and realize what the player wants as well as what they need when they join your server from a gameplay perspective, your development is going to improve tenfold, I promise you. So those were the reasons why I think that unique servers fail on my hunt. Do you know of any servers that make these mistakes? What about your own servers? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, my name is QBQT. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you did, because right now we're on the road to 10 subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Later.